From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome into BBN Tonight. A fresh slate, a fresh week. <laughs> I know it was a rough weekend, yep. but we're going to try to push through, relive all that. I'm Eli Gaines. <laughs> Dry our tears. And yes. I'm Anna Tarullo. <laughs> Happy Monday. We have a lot to get to, so let's get started. Of course, we're also recovering from a rough weekend for UK Athletics. Ah, no kidding. That includes the women's loss to Princeton in the first round of the tournament. That's where we're going to start for tonight's Big Blue Story, presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. After stringing together four incredible consecutive wins in the SEC tournament, the Wildcats didn't have that same magic in them for the NCAA tournament. Ryan Howard checked out of the game early in the first half with an injury. Didn't quite look the same after that. Finished with 17 points, 8 rebounds. Dreonna Edwards had her 11th double-double and scored her 1,000th career point, finishing with 16 points and 12 boards. Also, Jada Walker reaching double figures, 11 points and six steals. That's what kept the Cats in the game in the first half. But Princeton scored the first five points of the final quarter to take its largest lead of the day, and the Cats were not able to recover. They didn't score a field goal, Anna, in the final four minutes of the game, eventually falling 69 to 62. Obviously, it's a disappointing day. It's not um, the ending uh, that we wanted. Give credit to Princeton. I thought they um, were the tougher team today, made some big plays when they had to have them. Um, as far as what we've done, I told the players in the locker room, in this moment, it hurts. Um, but when we have a chance to look back, I just told them how much I love them, how proud I am of them. Um, when we were dead in the water, this team could have laid down and quit. And we did re something really special uh, to go on the run that we um, made to make it to the NCAA tournament, to win the SEC uh, championship. We have some things that we have done, accomplished down the stretch that we will be proud of, even though in this moment it's hard to celebrate it. The game never really felt out of reach. Princeton's largest lead was nine points, so it felt like if anyone, especially Ryan Howard, mm -hmm. could get into an offensive rhythm, the Cats could have pulled it off, but Howard's shot was just off. She went four of 14 from the floor, two of six from deep to finish with 17 points in her final game as a Kentucky Wildcat. It's been fun. Uh, I really don't look at like any accomplishments or anything. It's just the connections I've had with my teammates, with my coaches. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. I love all of them, and I know that they gave their all for me today and this season. Yeah, around my dog, um, it means a lot. Um, just like my sis right here, you know. Um, I mean, I love her, so yeah, I love you, Ra. I love you, Ra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyeballs are sweating. <laughs> Coach Elsie also talked about Howard's final game with the program and why her legacy is much bigger than a single game. She's a once in a lifetime uh, type of player. Um, you know, she's gifted. Um, but I, more importantly, what she has done for Kentucky basketball. Um, and I've said this, she's the best in the country for a reason. Um, her ability uh, to score at all three levels, her basketball game speaks for itself. She has left her legacy um, at Kentucky and for women's basketball. Um, but I, what I'm going to miss is the person. Um, she's very humble, kind-hearted. I'm going to miss her coming to the office, laying on the couch, um, trying to see what we're going to do for practice. Um, but she is a great person, and, and that matters uh, to us um, in our program. Someone get the onions out of the studio. What's going on here? A somber show Tears. today. Howard's legacy has certainly been cemented here, especially after what this team did in the SEC tournament. But of course, would have been nice to see her get a win or two during her final March Madness. Anna, her time here never even made the Sweet 16. That's that's tough. That's pretty unbelievable, especially with the role that they were on winning, you know, 10 know. straight and how they performed in the SEC tournament. It felt like they were finally getting someone who we were going to have yeah. a magical run. But mm -hmm. hey, we still appreciate everything Ryan did yes. for the program. And you heard Elsie say it's hard to celebrate any of that right after a loss, but it's equally hard to look mm -hmm. ahead to the future. But what Jada Walker has been able to accomplish this season, especially this postseason as a freshman, has really been remarkable. Her aggression on defense is is really what kept the game close in the first half. As for the future, Coach Elsie says, watch out. Jada Walker is tough as nails. 
um, her ability to bring the heat defensively, but I've said it all year, she's fearless. She's a fearless freshman. And what she has brought to our team this year, um, you know, is everything we needed, a winning mentality, um, a toughness, um, someone that loved defense, and um, the sky is truly the limit for her. Um, now that she has a season under her belt, uh, y'all better watch out. <laughs> you heard her. Can't wait to see what she can do as a sophomore. And there's big news for one of the freshmen who's going to be coming in behind her. Yeah, Kentucky signee and current Anderson County High School senior Amia Jenkins has been named Miss Kentucky Basketball. She's the 11th Wildcat in program history to earn that title. Jenkins, a 5'10 guard, averaged 21 points, five boards, four steals, and three assists per game this season for the Lady Bearcats. She's a four-star prospect and could be a real impact player, even as a freshman, just like Jada Walker was this year. Super excited for her mm -hmm. to get on campus. It's a big week for the UK softball team. Yeah, no kidding. The Cats take on the number one team in the country tomorrow night. We talk with head coach Rachel Lawson right after this.